Welcome back everybody. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a side dish that my family loves and we make it quite often. I'm gonna be showing you how to make Mexican fried rice in the Instant Pot. Let's go over our ingredients, very simple. We're gonna start off with two cups of long grain rice, about a tablespoon of Norse chicken bouillon, one can of tomato sauce. Now besides these three ingredients, we are gonna need some water along with some cooking oil. Now for the water, I do one part rice and one and a half parts of water. So for two cups of rice, we're gonna need a total of liquid is three cups. Now add in our tomato sauce. Now fill this up to the three cup mark. Okay, we're gonna start off by going to saute. You want this set to high. And now we'll start. Now we're gonna let this heat up and then we'll add a little bit of oil. Once it's starting to heat up, we'll add in a little bit of cooking oil. Just enough to cover the bottom. About that. All right, to see if it's hot enough, you're gonna put a wooden spoon down at the bottom. If you see it sizzle, it's ready to get in there. Now let's pour in our rice. Now we're gonna fry this for about five to six minutes until the rice gets golden brown. Be sure to get oil coated on all of your rice. That's gonna help it brown faster. Just kind of layer it. Now we could get some cooking surface on there and then just stir occasionally. After about a few minutes, you'll notice that the rice will start turning a little brown. That's a good sign, just keep stirring. At the end, you wanna kinda of keep it moving because you don't want it to get too brown on you. Okay, I think we're looking about good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the Instant Pot. Now carefully add in your water and tomato sauce. Add in our chicken bouillon. All we gotta do is just scrape the sides and make sure that the rice is all in the water and then mix this well. Now place your lid back on the Instant Pot. This one I like because it always comes back to seal. Uh, but if you have some of the other models of Instant Pots, just make sure that your little toggle here is set to seal. Okay, we're gonna set it to pressure cook. We're gonna put it for three minutes on high. And we'll start. So now that it's finished, we're gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes. We're gonna kinda do like a natural release, but it does still have a little bit of pressure, but to get the best rice, I found that leaving it for 15 minutes, uh, it's a natural release is the best way to do it. All right, once it hits 15 minutes on keep warm, go ahead and cancel. Now, this is actually the first time that it, it fully decompressed, but usually after 15 minutes, there would still be a little bit of pressure, but today it didn't. So it fully decompressed, nice and fluffy, just how I like it. So when you would do equal parts water and rice, it wouldn't be fully fluffy, like you know Spanish rice should look like, Mexican rice. But just give it a mix. Mix everything together and we are good to go. Mexican fried rice is a staple in my household. This side dish is used in most of my dishes. Uh, this is a great side to have, but this is how it should be. Nice and fluffy and just perfect. Mm. Great, every single time. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button that we can see future videos just like this. As always, I'll leave the link in the video description and in the comment section so that way you can go to my website, cookingwithkirby.com to get the full printable recipe. Now I have these recipes, they're really good, you should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.